everything was pointing to signs that she was having a great pregnancy and we were expecting another very healthy baby boy. The last thing I told her was that I loved her. The last thing I told Kara is I loved her. When they told me that her heart stopped, that was all I heard. I sit awake at nights thinking, man, like maybe I should have grabbed somebody by their collar, right? Maybe I should have turned the table over, right? Would that have made a difference? I definitely thought about the whole issue of, I, n I didn't want to be seen not only as angry, but an angry black man, right? I'm not the smallest guy in the world. Um, and what that would mean and how we would be perceived and how we would be treated as a result of that perception. When this first happened, I would get the question a lot, well, do you think it was because she was black? Do you think it would be different if Kira was white or was a different color? And the way I answer that question is, the simple fact that you have to ask that question is a problem. only thing that we conclude with any kind of reasonable certainty is that the experience of being black in America is so fundamentally different from the experience of being white in America that it translates to health outcomes. Black women are three to four times more likely to die than white women in the United States. And the only difference is the color of one's skin. All of this is racism. It's various types of racism. It's not something inherent in black women. Genetics isn't a part of it. They go to all their prenatal appointments. They are in good condition when they arrive at the delivery room, and then they experience racial discrimination by medical professionals. The problem with that is often stereotypes about culture come into the training. This idea that black people have different kinds of bodies than other human beings has continued in medical practice to this very day. For example, there's a long line of studies that show that black patients are undertreated for pain. Black people have thicker skin, so don't feel pain as much. Or black people are more likely to become addicted to drugs and therefore shouldn't be prescribed opioid pain treatments. These stereotypes are significant and prevalent There definitely are genetic differences that we are taught in medical school that you need to know when you're trying to take care of a patient of a specific race to know what's more common in that race. I'm Indian. We're prone to cardiovascular disease. If I recommend a colonoscopy to an African-American person at 45, does that make me racist? I don't think so. It's actually better health care, right, if you know that in this race these things are more common than in this race. Being overweight and obese is fraught with other medical complications, diabetes, high blood pressure, which increase your risk of delivery complications, increase your risk of postpartum complications. We think that more than half of all pregnancy-related deaths are preventable, and clearly the deaths that we see from the old-fashioned causes, particularly hemorrhage, we, we know what to do. Shortly after he came out, I remember feeling extremely dizzy. It got extremely bright and I saw like stars everywhere and I just remember them placing him on me and I just told them like I can't move. 